Hey guys, and welcome to our online Advent retreat. Before we begin, let's go over what is the point of Advent. The word Advent literally means arrival. We are waiting for the arrival of the King, our King, Lord Jesus Christ. But waiting doesn't mean just sitting around on the couch, staring at your watch, and waiting without preparing for Him. Just like when you have guests coming over, you clean your house, you prepare the food, and then you welcome everyone inside. We have to do the same with our hearts. Clean our hearts for God, go closer to Him in prayer, prepare ourselves for Him, and then finally welcome Him in. Without a ready heart, it will be a wasted time, even a wasted Christmas. We are not only waiting for baby Jesus to come to Bethlehem and into our hearts, but we are also preparing and waiting for Jesus' second coming. He promised that He will come again at the end of time, when the kingdom of God will come to be. We are all preparing for that day and need to choose God as our priority and goal in life. Did you know that Isaiah was a prophet? But what is a prophet? A prophet is someone who is chosen by God to speak his words to others, kind of like a messenger. The prophet pre-tells the people of the coming of Jesus and what his mission will be. Since Isaiah was a prophet in the Old Testament around 700 BC before Christ, what do you really know about him? Actually, wait. Let's just ask him. Hello everyone, greetings. You know who I am? Yes, I am Isaiah. I was born into a noble family. God appeared to me in a vision and I was overcome with God's divine glory and holiness. I became aware of God's need for a messenger for the people of Israel, my people. And even though I didn't feel ready or worthy, I accept God's mission for me and offered myself to Him. I wanted to be a tool in God's hands. And I said, here I am, O Lord, send me. Let me tell you, this was no easy task. I had to watch my own nation perish and crumble since it was under foreign domination and was overtaken by force. I had to convince the people of Israel to come back to God. I am known as the prophet of hope since I pre-told everyone of the special child that was to be born, that there will be no other like him. His life and death will change all of history. You know who he is. Isaiah pre-told us many messages, like that the mother of God will be a virgin, that Jesus will come to save us, that he will be called Emmanuel, and what Jesus' mission would be. To all his people, he was the voice of judgment and the voice of hope and comfort. Through his writings, he explained how Jesus will fulfill the promise of deliverance and blessings, salvation and righteousness. Now, we have to remember that Isaiah was a prophet during a very hard time. Most of the people were very stubborn and worshipped other gods. They were fighting with other nations, many wars were breaking out, and Israel even lost its independence. These people were very this faithful. You might say they didn't practice love thy neighbor or bring peace on earth. And still, through all their wickedness, God showed them how merciful He is, how loving He is, even though they didn't deserve it. That's why God chose Isaiah to be His messenger, to save the people of Israel, to help them understand how they can return to God and open their hearts to His love. Just like you guys, that during this time of Advent have the opportunity to be like Isaiah. People are going away from God claiming that they don't need Him and that He isn't that important. Now is your chance to be like Isaiah, to be the messenger of Jesus. As John Paul II said, be not afraid, be the light, share Jesus with your friends, share that He is coming. He is just 25 days away arriving in each one of your hearts. This week, try to be the change. Don't be afraid to share with your friends what the point of Advent is, how we are to be the disciples of Christ sharing the good news. This week's challenge, if you choose to accept it, is to post a story on your Instagram or Snap explaining what Advent is. How can you prepare better for this time? What is it that you can do spiritually for your growth? And what can you do to help others during this time? Follow us at Oblate Youth Canada on Instagram or Oblet Youth on Snapchat. Tag us with your challenge submission on Snap or Insta to enter for a chance to win your choice of a $25 gift card or a bag of candy or a box of 165 frozen pierogies. 
If you have any questions, feel free to DM us on any of the accounts or email us at oblateyouthcanada at gmail.com. Thank you to anyone who participates in this challenge and we'll see you next week with a new add-in video. Remember, be like I say.